guys, John from FlyingMikeAlpha.com, and today we are in a DA-42. We're going to be going ahead and walking you through how to shut down an engine in flight and how to restart it as you prepare for a multi-engine check right here. So, first thing we want to do is make sure we synced up our heading bug here, got our altitude bug set, and we're flying along, have everything dialed in so we can try to keep on that same altitude and same heading here. And we're going to go ahead and pretend as if the left engine just started shaking very violently. So the first thing I want to do is just go ahead and pull the throttle back to it. And I could go full throttle here, verify flaps and gear are up, but we don't need full power on our right engine to maintain altitude here. So I'm using lots of right rudder, a little bit of right stick, trying to maintain a zero side slip condition with a little bit of uh, the bar deflected over to the right here. And throttle's all the way at idle to shut down the left engine. I'm simply going to go ahead and turn that master off. I'm not doing it with fuel or anything like that. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that gear horn there. And I'm simply flying along here on one engine. Our engine is shut down. Now, 125 is our in-flight um, windmilling start. So we want to be above 125 or at least add it 125 knots to do a windmilling start. Otherwise, we'll want to do a key start, but we need to be below 105 for that. So we're right now at 116, probably not fast enough to do a windmilling start. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to full power on the right engine, just up to max continuous here, actually. And I'll dive a little bit, get some airspeed. Can go ahead and throttle back. Master on. And there we go. We go ahead and bring the power up and pair the throttles back together here. And just watching the temperatures on here, making sure nothing gets uh, too low. Want to use a lower power setting when we first restart that engine. And also important to note, we did all this in a short period of time. We didn't actually have time to use a checklist because we have a limitation on this airplane to not leave an engine shut down in flight more than two minutes. If you do, you're not really supposed to restart it. 32, and now let's go ahead and sit back up our autopilot, take a little break here. We're on heading mode, we're on altitude mode. I'm just going to press autopilot engage. I can go ahead and let go, set my power, and take a little break. And that's okay to do on a check ride. You need to demonstrate proficiency with the autopilot, so it's perfectly fine to go ahead and engage the autopilot every so often and take a little break, sit back, just monitor the systems, and make sure everything's going good. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my checklist, make sure everything's set the way I want it. Everything's good. And we're just cruising along here. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.